Warming up the voice is one of the most important habits a singer or speaker can acquire. It helps the voice to function with ease and efficiency while building confidence that your voice will respond the way you need it to in a performance. Mama. The following video will help you to use the vocal warm-up program. Hi singers! Do you want people to understand your lyrics? Then you better know how to articulate and you better know how to pronounce your vowels. These next exercises are great for getting you to work on vowel pronunciation and consonants and understanding them and how they work. The first exercise makes use of all the frequently used vowels E, A, A, O, and U. Make sure you pay attention to how you're forming the vowels and stay loose in your body so that you can make them with ease. The second exercise uses the consonant V, which is a voiced consonant. It means that it has pitch in it. And we put that in combination with E and A. Ah. E is a front vowel, so it feels more like it resonates towards the front of the mouth. And A ah is a back vowel, so it feels like it more resonates more towards the back of the mouth. By putting these two together this way, we create a nice resonance balancing exercise for those two vowels. The next exercise uses two frequently used diphthongs. What is a diphthong? Well, a diphthong is two vowels in succession. We're going to be using the diphthong I and the diphthong A. If you slow I down, you'll hear two vowels, A plus E. I. Hear it? I. If you slow down the A, you're going to hear E H E plus E. A. Hear that? So really, you're actually singing two vowels at the same time. The question is, how do you make that work? Well, what you want to do is, is linger on the first vowel longer than the second vowel, and that way you'll get a much better sound and tone quality. Unless you're a country singer, then you might want to lean on the second vowel, like day <laughs> and sai. That's perfect. That has kind of a country twang to it. In fact, if you're looking to make a country twang, that's one of the ways you can do it. This next exercise may sound kind of funny. We're using the two words thy and thigh. Again, it's a voice consonant, th, th has pitch in it, and th, th has air, so it's unpitched, voiced and unvoiced. And we're saying thy, thigh, thy, thigh. So we're actually using a voiced and unvoiced consonant with a diphthong. By using the unvoiced consonant, it creates a little opening in your glottis area, which is the space between your vocal folds. And it helps to relax the throat, brings the tongue forward, and it creates nice resonance balancing. So the following exercises will help you to warm up your voice to get the best use of consonants, vowels, and diphthongs and make you a better communicator of your lyrics. Exercise 10. Beepo, 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 beepo. Exercise 11. So get out your vocal warm-up and start warming up now.